Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about one of the most exciting tech IPOs that are going to be happening soon. Uh, you guys guessed it, it's Airbnb. Although I guess since I put in the title, you guys already knew that, right? So sorry if I spoiled it for you and sorry if that was kind of anticlimactic. But anyways, uh, in case you're a complete beginner in the stock market and you have no idea what an IPO is, uh, basically an IPO stands for initial public offering and basically is when a company becomes available to trade publicly for the first time ever. So this is often a big deal because that means that people like you and me, like the common folk, not investment funds or you know insiders of the company, uh, that means people like you and me can finally get our hands on some of the shares uh, once they IPO. So in case you haven't heard, uh, we received news that Airbnb has filed for paperwork to go public. Uh, so according to multiple rumors on the internet, the company could go public sometime before before the end of the year this year. Also, according to this article by CNBC, as of this last April, the company was valued at about $18 billion, which is just about half their valuation back in 2017. Now, it's kind of strange for a big tech growth company to be going down in terms of valuation, but keep in mind, this is one of the worst industries to be in, in terms of being in the middle of a global pandemic in the Roni situation, right? This is one of the business model uh, that is most heavily impacted by the Roni situation. Besides like cruises and airlines, but uh, yeah, this is right up there with cruises and airlines. Uh, so yeah, I can't even think of another industry that is being even more heavily impacted right now. Uh, so back in May, there was a huge round of layoffs at Airbnb actually, uh, and they let go about 25% of the workforce, which was about 1,900 employees. Uh, in fact, a lot of my coworkers at Wellsimple actually came from Airbnb. So a lot of them are based out of Montreal actually. So I heard that they let go of like 90% of the employees at the Montreal office. So. Uh, yeah, times are tough, guys. In fact, a lot of people online are saying how Airbnb have just picked pretty much the worst possible time to do an IPO. Uh, but however, I think this could actually be good news for people like you and me, uh, because this could potentially be a buying opportunity for us. Uh, because I think that long term, Airbnb will turn out okay. Uh, so we don't have financial data on Airbnb just yet. So let me just talk about Airbnb on more of like a holistic and general sense. So hear me out here. Uh, and bear with me. Uh, recently, some of my friends were asking me whether or not I wanted to go on a cottaging trip with them. Uh, now I've gotten to the point where if someone suggests the concept of cottaging, I automatically think of Airbnb first. I don't even consider any other options. Like, are there even other options? Uh, no, legitimately, I'm legit asking this question. If you had to go on a cottaging trip and you can't use Airbnb, like, what would you use? Right, so uh, I, I seriously don't know. How did people book cottages before Airbnb? Uh, now, anyways, if you're going in a place that's kind of in the middle of nowhere, uh, there's really no like other alternative other than Airbnb, right? Because if you're going to the middle of nowhere, there's like no hotels or no motels. So how are you gonna arrange accommodations? Anyways, story time. You guys seem to love my stories for some odd reason. So here's another story. Uh, so last summer I went to Nova Scotia for vacation and I went to the northernmost tip of Cape Breton Island. Uh, and I went to this place called Meat Cove, which I'll show you a map of where Meat Cove is and you can see that the place is very remote. And let me tell you guys, this is pretty much the most secluded place I've ever been to in my life. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful and I recommend you all go someday. Uh, not right now, obviously, because of the Roni situation, but when the situation is over, I recommend you all go there because it's absolutely amazing. And I'll post some photos from that trip and you guys can see. Uh, so anyways, we went for a four hour hike and we saw some wild horses. So it was absolutely quite the experience. Let me say that. Uh, point is, we actually had to use Airbnb for Meat Cove, all right? So the place had a population of what, like a hundred? Uh, so obviously there are no hotels, there are no motels either. 
and there was only one restaurant within like a three hour drive radius and it closes at seven and we didn't know this at the time so we ended up back at our Airbnb at around 9 p.m. after our four hour hike and we realized oh shit we don't have any food uh, so we had like zero food guys like absolutely nothing and every place that sold food, restaurants, even like convenience stores and places like that, they were all closed within like a three hour drive. Uh, so my friend was like, okay, why don't we text our Airbnb host and um, beg for food? Uh, so I was like, you know what? That's a great idea. So let's do that. And you know, Airbnb lets you text your Airbnb host right from within the app. So it's super convenient. Anyways, uh, so he starts texting and he's like, by the way, do you have any food that we can borrow? And then he's like, no, that's not right because like, we're not gonna give it back right so we're not really borrowing the food uh, so we're like oh man how do we even like phrase this question uh, so we ended up saying something like do you have any food that we could eat and it, yeah it sounds kind of cringy now that I say it out loud actually but yeah anyways the host came and he gave us a few boxes of Twinkies and let me tell you once you're coming back from like a four-hour hike and you haven't eaten this is gonna be the best Twinkies you ever had in your life. Uh, anyways, I left a five-star review. Uh, so shout out to Heinz Ocean View Lodge. Uh, highly recommended. And so moving on, you're like, okay, what's the point of this story? Uh, my point is that this experience would not have been possible without Airbnb. Uh, so I just think that at this point, Airbnb has become such a cultural icon that there's really nothing else exactly like it. Uh, so I can tell because people use the term Airbnb as a verb these days, right? So uh, people would say, you know, I'm going to Uber there or I'm going to Airbnb my place. They use it as a verb and is creeped into our everyday language even. So that's how you know. Uh, it's achieved what I like to call first thought status. And basically this is when a product or service is the first thing that comes to your mind when someone mentions a given scenario or a category of products, right? So for example, if someone says tablet computer, what do you think of first? iPad, right? Come on, you didn't think of the Samsung Galaxy Tab A? Come on, give me a break. So electric vehicles, Tesla. You want to get from point A to point B? Uber. You want to go on vacation or have short-term rentals and rent out your place? Airbnb, right? So in my opinion, this business model is simply too good to just go away. Uh, like if you used an Uber before, you're probably not going back to taxis, right? So uh, similarly, a lot of people who I know like to travel and they use Airbnb a lot, uh, they're not going back to like hotels and motels. I can guarantee you that. And as I said, we don't have financials on this company yet, but as I mentioned earlier, this company is valued at about $18 billion right now. So if we compare Airbnb to many popular hotel chains, uh, for example, Marriott, which you can see has a market cap of around $31 billion, or Hilton, which has a market cap of around $24 billion. Uh, so in my opinion, $18 billion is not an insane valuation uh, considering who is the disruptor and who is being disrupted, right? So if you think Airbnb versus like a Marriott, who is the disruptor and who is being disrupted? And if you just think realistically over the next five years, who is gonna grow more, Airbnb or Marriott? I'm just saying, right? So also keep in mind one day, the whole Roni situation is gonna be over. And now I know right now it seems like one never ending nightmare, but I promise you one day is gonna end, right? Either we're all gonna get it and we're all gonna get herd immunity from now on, or uh, we're gonna find a vaccine. Hopefully we find a vaccine before herd immunity, but uh, you know, either way, five years from now, I can almost guarantee you that Roni situation is not gonna be headline news anymore. Uh, so. Long term, I think that the future is actually pretty bright for Airbnb and I have a lot of faith that the business model is here to stay and the business model of Airbnb is going to do well in the long term. Anyways, that's just my opinion though. You guys let me know down in the comments. I'm going to leave the video here. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you like the series. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links down below in the description as always. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.